American voiceover artist and television producer Tom Beers was born on the 20th of July, 1952, in Batavia, New York State, and is best known for narrating several Discovery Channel series such as Verminators and Swords, Life on the Line. He also helped produce several shows on the channel, but all of his efforts have helped put his net worth to where it is today. So, how rich is Tom Beers? As of late 2017, Celebrity.Money estimates that Tom has a net worth of over $25 million, mostly earned through a successful career in television production and narration. He's also produced shows for the Discovery Health Channel, History Channel, and A&E. And as he continues his career, which began in the early 1990s, it's expected that his wealth will grow. Tom started out as an executive producer for Turner Broadcaster as well as Paramount Syndicated Television and was then the chairman and CEO of Fremantle Media North America. He has been involved in more than 40 television series since he began in the business in the 1990s. Most of them created under the auspices of his production company entitled Original Productions, which was founded in 1999, and which he serves as the CEO and executive producer. He also worked as the supervising producer for the cartoon series Captain Planet and the Planeteers, working on 26 episodes. Since then, he has produced many shows for the Discovery Channel, including Deadliest Cast, which is a documentary series featuring events aboard fishing vessels in the Bering Sea, and for which he received an Emmy Award nomination. Some of the other shows he has produced include Lobster Wars, Monster Garage, and Monster House, the latter documenting a themed remodeling of a residence within five days. Beers has also narrated many of the shows he has produced, including Swords, Life on the Line, which documented New England fishing boats fishing for swordfish, and Deadliest Catch, but soon turned over those duties to Mike Rowe. For the Discovery Health Channel, he narrated Impact, Stories of Survival, which features reenactments and interviews regarding life-threatening situations in which the victim experienced significant impact. In 2007, Tom then produced and narrated the History Channel series Ice Road Truckers, which featured truck drivers operating seasonal routes over frozen terrain, including lakes in the north of the continent. The following year, he narrated Axemen, which followed several logging crews in northwest Oregon, Washington, and Montana, as well as Louisiana and Florida. He then produced the show on A&E, entitled Storage Wars, which he also narrated. In California and other states, if a storage locker rental is not paid for three months, it is sold at auction. The show features professional bidders who then try to sell the contents they have bought for a profit. Tom and Original Productions then worked with True TV for their own series Black Gold, which chronicles oil drilling rigs in Andrews County, Texas. Around the same time, he also worked on the Weather Channel miniseries Tornado Road and IFC's Whisker Wars. For the National Geographic Channel, he narrated America's Port and Wild Justice, and he also worked on the pilot episodes of 1,000 Ways to Die, The Colony, and Pitchman. Clearly, he is in great demand, so his net worth is continuing to rise. For his personal life, it is known that Tom is married to Leslie Beers, the president of Amoglia Music. It produces music for original productions. They have a son. <laughs>